It's the ambassador for the permanent delegation of the EU to the United Nations, the Honourable Mary Angela Zappier. Ambassador, what does EU Day symbolise for you personally? Well, for me personally, you know, I was born in '59. I'm, I'm telling you a secret. Uh, <laughs> Thank and you. Uh, and uh, for me, the European Union is where I, I was born, basically. So it's it's really like a birthday. Um, throughout my career, throughout my personal life, the European Union is, uh, has been my reality. Mm. Uh, and it is, was not the case for other countries. Uh, and, and this year is uh, the 10th anniversary of what we call the big enlargement, where we greeted in our big community uh, basically uh, the rest of the European uh, countries, and uh, we reuni- reunified the European continent. Yes. H- how would you describe the state of the Union, the state of the European Union in, in 2014? Give us an impression of, of your sense of the, the state of the EU at the moment. Listen, uh, a lot of challenges. Uh, as, uh, by the way, for the rest of the world, but also for us, uh, economic challenges, the crisis, and we are recovering and, and uh, doing better and better. And we are also, from uh, from uh, an internal point of view, we are reviewing our institution in a way that can respond also to uh, uh, to this um, reality, which is challenging, but at the same time, a lot of progress and, uh, and, and also looking forward to... Uh, you know the the next possible uh, uh, membership of other countries in uh, in the Balkans, for instance. Uh, looking forward to our partnerships with uh, uh, the Eastern uh, European countries uh, and our partnership all over the world. So a lot of internal work, but also a lot of uh, forward looking and uh, and looking to partners. Mm. Ambassador, as we wrap up this afternoon, what is the focus of your activities as ambassador for the EU to the UN at the moment? Listen, uh, I, I would say human rights. Uh, human rights, they are challenged everywhere. If you look at what hap- what hap- what's happening in uh, Ukraine, uh, what's happening in South Sudan, uh, where we are on the verge of a civil war uh, motivated by ethnicity. So mm. that's, that's the really awful. And when you look at Nigeria, for instance, and this uh, horrible case yes. of 200 girls um, abducted, from their school, and we don't know where they are. I think it's uh, the, the big challenge, not only for the EU, but for all of us, is really um, protecting uh, human rights. Ambassador, so delightful to have you on Drive Time World Radio Switzerland this afternoon. Have a good weekend, and, and we wish you happy EU Day for today. Thank you very much, and it was a great pleasure to be with you.